please, sir, can I get a GPU? Now please put together a PC. Please, sir. Please. Ta-da! Welcome back to Tech. Yes, city. And today we've got this PC marks a first here at Tech Yes City because it's the first time I found a PC on the side of the road that I would actually turn into a gaming PC. In the past, I have found PCs, whether it's on the side of the road or it's at a tip, but they've just been so far gone or they've just been way too old that I couldn't turn them into an actual gaming PC that could play titles of today. But when I saw this PC right here, as soon as I saw the X58 motherboard inside, I knew I had to pick it up, put it in the boot, and get it back to the tech, yes, yeah, studio, where what we're gonna do right here is we're gonna take out now the parts that are, could be possibly working. So I'm gonna remove the motherboard, the uh, CPU and the cooler, and also the power supply, and also test this two gigabyte stick of memory that was literally just sitting inside the computer like, like such. So we're gonna see if we can turn trash into treasure and make something that can play some of those latest and greatest titles. Do you feel like this when you see this? Well, if so, you can get rid of that Windows activation message with today's video sponsor, SCD Keys, for as little as $12 USD. After you use that coupon, BFTYC, you can get activated today. Links in the description below. So I've pulled all the important pieces out of the tower and as for that tower, I'm just not even gonna bother with it because it's just so dinged up and damaged that it's not gonna make for any decent gaming PC per se. And I'd rather just have an open air test bed if I couldn't afford a case. But what we've got right here is the motherboard. This is the most important piece of this puzzle. If this ends up working, then I'm gonna be super happy because this one here is the price of this whole pickup. And also if the power supply, if this works too, then I'm gonna be really happy because that saves a lot of money when putting together a gaming PC. Now, this card right here is a GTS 250. I mean, it's a little bit, no, well, actually a lot. It's really lackluster for gaming in 2021. But I mean, some sellers nowadays, they might just put one of these cards in and call it an ultra fast gaming PC. So <laughs> do be aware of that. But uh, essentially we're gonna pull this one away and we're left now and the, and the Blu-ray drive, I mean, I'm not really into, um, I haven't used a CD or a DVD, I think for maybe six or seven years now. It's for me personally, I just never use it. Uh, but of course we might be able to sell one of these on eBay or something and get some money for it uh, for essentially nothing. But uh, now we're left with two gigabytes of RAM, motherboard and a power supply. And we're gonna clean these up now and then we're gonna test if they work. So we're just gonna do a quick clean, nothing super, nothing um, crazy, but just a quick clean to get all the dust and dirt off and then just see if either of these parts work. So we've got some good news coming out of this, very good news, and that is the motherboard, the CPU, and even the two gigabyte stick of RAM are working absolutely fine. Though the power supply, it's, for, for starters, the power supply, and I'm not gonna use the power supply, even though it did turn on and the power supply tester was saying it was okay, there was some coil wine evident, and also the five volt line was displaying a weird uh, readout there. So those two things coupled together, plus coupled in with the fact that it is a very cheap and nasty power supply means that I'm gonna use something different, which that could have been the reason why the whole build failed on the person beforehand. They just decided to chuck it out uh, because maybe one of their hard drives dropped out or something. They're like, oh, this whole PC is an absolute mess. I'm just getting rid of it. Even though the motherboard is actually still in really good condition, though we're gonna be supplementing that with an Antec power supply. Now, these two parts, I'm gonna give them a thorough clean right now, and then we're gonna start putting together a gaming PC for everyone.
So we've now just finished cleaning up all these PC parts, and you may notice I started cleaning up an RX 570, four gig, and that's the graphics card we're gonna be adding in to complete this build. We've also got a 500 gigabyte hard drive and a 120 gigabyte SSD. This seems to be the budget meta combo right now. Now, probably thinking what's with the RAM? We're gonna be adding in, since that two gigabyte stick works, we're just gonna be adding in <laughs> a DDR3 mash of RAM here to make 12 gigabytes in total. So we've got all these two gigabyte sticks just sitting around here. We add them in and hope and pray that they all work together. Uh, but that's one beauty about X58. Generally, you put all those two gigabyte sticks in even if they're dual rank and single rank. And a lot of times they work. That's what I found with this uh, combo. And now our power supply is all cleaned up, ready to go. And we've got an RGB case here that I picked up for 50 Aussie dollars. So in total, we're a little bit above $200 in our costs and how much this PC is gonna uh, cost to put together. But of course, having a free X58 motherboard and an i7-950 that works absolutely fine is a big advantage in this situation. It's gonna bring the price performance of this rig up through the roof. So let's put this thing together and get building. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have a PC that is ready to go. And finishing off this video, we've got from trash to treasure. It's one thing that I personally love doing, and that is just giving these parts a clean, especially one that's been left on the side of the road. Someone's abandoned that. They just said, look, I don't want this anymore. It's garbage, it doesn't work. And I've come in and picked it up and look at what we've turned it into. Now, granted, we've added new parts to this, especially the case, and we've changed the power supply over, but these parts at the moment, they're very cheap, besides the graphics card. We'll talk about the graphics card very soon, but adding a new case right now, that's the cheapest I've ever seen cases. This case here is RGB timber glass. I got this for 50 Aussie dollars. Uh, 120 gigabyte SSDs, they're very cheap at the moment. And I'm sure if you look locally, you'll be able to find uh, DDR3 memory, especially two gigabyte sticks, and possibly even an X58 board or something similar for very cheap also. But of course, the builds like this here on the channel, Tech Your City, you guys have been requesting that I do uh, more builds like this, these used bangers, but I'm just having a tough time um, doing them a lot more than I would usually do because of graphics card prices. And so when I make these PCs at the moment, it's sort of only uh, realistically catering towards people who can get good deals locally because that is pretty much the only good graphics card deals I'm getting personally is where I pick them up local and it's not going through sites like eBay or AliExpress. And when I go on eBay or AliExpress, I've got zero chance of getting a solid deal on a graphics card and that's just reality. And even though I'm getting solid GPU deals here locally, I'm still not getting them at the pace that I was getting them. And they're also still not readily available like they used to be where I could jump on Gumtree or Facebook and I could pretty much find five different graphics card deals that were ready to go. Now I've sort of got to sit on there really like just maneuver through all these obstacles and I'm like, okay, this looks like a decent deal on a GPU. Let's try and get it. And that's how I've been getting my graphics card deals lately. So it is getting tougher to put together these price performance PCs, but we are definitely doing it here at Tech Yes City, but hopefully, hopefully that crypto price just keeps dropping and those mining profitabilities keep dropping. And then we're gonna see some graphics card availability come back into play. And that day I feel is coming pretty soon, sooner than you think. The only thing left that us gamers need is the infamous rug pull. And that's, <laughs> and that is whoever's put all this cheap money into crypto gets the rug and they just pull it out and then suddenly the price collapses. And uh, we already saw one example of that. So if we have one more of those type events in the crypto field, then I feel like that is gonna be party time 
if you've been looking for a cheap GPU. But in the meantime, we're starving out here, guys. It's like, please, sir, can I get a GPU? Can I please put together a PC? Please, sir, please. No, boy, you got to put together a console. But you don't put together a console, sir. Yeah, back to the video. But on the note of this PC right here, before we get on out of here, if you guys find it PCs that people no longer want and they just think that maybe it doesn't work, it doesn't boot up and they just chuck it out, or your friend has an old PC lying around that they no longer want, it might be worth your time just to check it out. And especially if you're new to uh, building PCs, you can definitely use those older rigs to test out parts and sort of build up your portfolio of used PC parts. And then that's the, that's the beauty of uh, building PCs is once you get a few parts in and you've got different parts that you know work, you can mix and match and you can quickly and easily test which uh, PC parts are the problem versus which ones are going to work. And so that's what I've set up here at my studio. It's easy for me to uh, put together PCs now and find out faulty parts and quickly diagnose them. And of course, clean up the parts and make them look like they're brand new. But that said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button for us. And also let us know in the comment section below what you think of this side road pickup PC. But finding a PC on the side of the road, I mean, how, how long before someone else comes and picks that up? I don't know. Maybe I gotta do an experiment. But speaking of experiments, we've got the question of the day, which comes from Aaron, and they ask, you could buy a PS4 that will run Fortnite better than this, and it is cheaper. Can't these fools be sued for false advertising? So they're referring to yesterday's video that we did on the uh, GT710 gaming PCs that people are selling on eBay. It's an absolute joke, especially when they're saying it's a fast gaming PC or an ultra fast gaming PC. And yes, to be honest, a PS4 uh, will run Fortnite better than these PCs will run Fortnite. And I think that's a sad thing because you can pick up a PS4, at least locally here, you can pick it up for really cheap right now. Um, so that, that's a much better option. Like if you want to get into gaming and you don't know anything about PCs and you want to buy one of these RGB ultra fast gaming PCs, just don't, you're better off just going with a console. And that's, I thought I'd never see the day where I'd recommend a console over a PC, but that's how bad the crypto market has uh, driven up GPU prices to the point where you've got these real, I just think they're scummy people and they're, misleading and they're trying to sell a graphics card that was never intended for gaming and they're putting it in and now that's that was seven years ago like this card wasn't intended for gaming seven years ago and now they're putting it in gaming pcs and saying they're gaming pcs in 2021 really it boggles the mind but answer the last part of the question uh, can't these fools be sued for false advertising i mean perhaps but i think a lot of people aren't really going to bother suing them because they're probably i mean if they're selling 400 dollars gaming pcs they're probably not going to have a mad like crazy profitable business going on and even then if you sued them are you going to get your money back because they'll probably just say they're bankrupt even if you win the court case and so that's why a lot of the times a lot of people a lot of even corporations and stuff they don't bother small uh suing the smaller guy because the smaller guy is just going to be like well what are you going to sue me for? A GT710 gaming PC. But ultimately, in terms of being sued in Australia, even then, I think there's a certain threshold for the value of an item and what you can sue for in, in a small claims court. And it's just really not going to be worth uh, your time doing that, especially I know in Australia, it's not going to be worth your time. And so I get a lot of these guys know that. And so they get away with it. But anyway, hope that answers that question. And if you stayed this far, and you're enjoying that tech yes content you want to see at the moment it drops and uh then i got a message that threw me off <laughs> be sure to hit that sub button and ring that bell and i'll catch you in another tech video very soon peace out for now bye